Hello, everybody. I'm Dan here from the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to the Thousand Week Reich and to the Serbia Chetnik movement playthrough. Um, I haven't completely restarted, but we're back to the point before we're having crowned uh, King Peter. So we've got a couple of things to do, like kind of doing a lot of debates, recovering from the Civil War, and. Um, deciding on um, who's going to lead us, Purik or Draza. I think I'm going to go for Purik. Just for a change of things. So let's bring order to the chaos. So I have greatly missed playing this mod. I do thoroughly enjoy it. Not as much reading as there is for TNO. Uh, but it's still a very, very nice scenario to play in. So China's currently at war with Vietnam. Uh, I'm just going to go over current world of events. Uh, the West African Federation's here. Um, Republic Algeria won. Greece is in a civil war. We have the Democratic Republic and uh, the Hellenic State. Uh, Nikolo Mikov, Mikov is in charge of Bulgaria, so they may join Toronto Accord, so we're probably going to want to kill them as soon as we possibly can. Second Hungarian Republic's here. Bormann's in charge of Germany, but I don't know how long that's going to last. Um, because this is demilitarized, which suggests civil war. The Soviets have got Konev in charge. Um, Russian Republic is still Zigarez. I've said that completely wrong. Uh, People's Republic of Japan's here. Partisan raid. Oh, 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 and some wars are finishing there. What? Where was Italy involved in there? What the hell? Lebanese and the Republic of Iraq. Okay, well, we're going to have a war with Italy eventually, so that's going to be fun. So the Partisans Trail. Yeah, let's get rid of the Partisans because, um, yep, they're just a hindrance to us. So right now, we've got Mixed Army, which is, um, it's not too bad to be fair. I'm hoping we're going to be able to improve that, actually. Yep, there's the German Civil War. And Finland's at war with Reichskommissarat Ausland. Okay. Right, let's do our trade policy. Tito is getting executed. So he will no longer be a threat to us. I don't think we... That's fine. I, I honestly couldn't care less. Baltic Confederation's risen up. Which is not going to help their situation at all for the uh, Oryx Commissariat. And Borman is getting destroyed. Okay, Westland is here as well. Yep, we know that's a civil war. Uh, or trade policy, autarky, or free trade. I'm going to go for autarky. And there's Belarusian. Nation rising up, the old Benates. Well, Russian Soviet Republic, that's what I was looking for. The Southern Revolution. Oh, it's just, it's all kicking off now. And we're still running at an insane speed. So Albania is actually free as well. So Bulgaria, Benat and Albania are all within killing distance. Let's move up to early mobilization. Um, centralization or decentralization? I feel like centralization just because max factors in state plus 15% seems very, very beneficial. Let's do rights to the Serbian worker. Right, let's organize a raid because we're going to have to deal with them partisans. I thought they would have been destroyed by now. Expand our garrisons. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and ban all unions. We're not having any of them. Trade unions can go away. We have no place for them in our society. Oh, oh well. Did Poland just peacefully unite there? The Polish Home Army. Partisan raid. Hopefully we're going to successfully raid them. Now we can expand our garrisons and then crush the partisans once and for all. 
state religion. Orthodox or secularism. Yeah, do you know what? Let's embrace secularism. Liaisons in London. Sorry, Drago. You're going to be going. Successful raid. Boom. Expand our garrisons, which takes 50 days, so we're going to get raided by them again. So we'll drive it over pose. Pure grab the files. Pure grabs the files and leaves the office. Trust in the cabinet. Hell yeah. Transitions to civilian rule. So democratic transition. We're going to try and restore a coup d'etat in Guatemala. We're going to try and restore Yugoslavia as well, guys, obviously. Um, and a democratic Yugoslavia. And hopefully we'll be able to join the Toronto Accord at some point. I'm sure that's a route in the focus tree. I think you can either make your own faction or join the Toronto Accord. Which is why I'm wanting to kill off Bulgaria as soon as really possible. The Swiss Revolution. Everybody's rising up. Right, a unified government. Draza is going to get arrested. Uh, start of the Benelux Revolution. Slovenian Declaration. National Socialist. Oh yeah, they have a little tree. When I say little tree, I mean it is a tiny little tree. And the Czechs have died already. Damnation. Stop it. We've got a unified government. Perfect. Right, so let's win over the city folks. Draza has been arrested. He has played his part. So, conservative drift is definitely what's going to take... Oh, because that is Puric. Right, and win over the farmers. Recovering from the Civil War is going to be gone. Happy days. Happy days. Post-war artillery. That is what we want. I'm going to put a lot of emphasis onto that. Right, win over the farmers is done. Let's do the Ravnagora dossier. And... Seriously... I might as well just put all my divisions on that border. But that should be easy enough to deal with. Oh. Oh. Himmler is gone. A democratic Serbia. Well, well, well. Hello, Puric. How are you doing? Let's coronate Peter. Let's crush the partisans. Agreement for the opposition. The restoration of Serbian democracy. Wow. Bugger off. What does this do? Don't know what that does. So we lost our field marshal, sadly. And he's a pretty good one. Let's get Milka. And here is the wonderful King Peter. Yes. And I can now do the more exciting route. Meet the old boss. Which we just need to have 50k and 10 factories. So what we'll do is we'll start working down the economic relief. Well, the economic side of the tree by starting with the economic relief mandate. Then we can get, I think, yep, a civ couple of civvies there. Um, two military there. We're going to go for the research slot first though, the battle for education, because three slots is better than two. That better not be another raid. Right, that partisan raid should not happen. Right, that's that done. Battle for education. That's going to go bye-bye. Mixed army. I don't know why we still... Is there a way for us to deal with that? Oh yes, our old friends will definitely be wanting to do that. King's Watchful Eyes. Purge. 
the Chenex. Oh. So, th <laughs> love that. It's like, thanks for helping us reclaim our territory. Remove the Ashkel Spirit Mixed Army. Good. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for helping take control and helping restore the king to the throne. But we're now going to just kill you all off. That's basically what we're doing. Really, when you, when you look at it. We're just purging every last one of them. Right, let's do the battle for the economy. Now with this extra research slot, let's hop in here and get construction one. Let's have a wee look at how things are progressing. Oh, so Heydrich. Heydrich has left and it's Alfred Frauenfeld. Portugal's against Angola. Benefial elected. Hello, Ireland. Nice wee mention from you there. Royalist coup. Michael I. Won't be long, I think, until the... Uh, Emergency of, say, Verstadt gets rid of Manstein and Hans Spiedel will be here. Um, let's get the 50s main battle tank and I think we'll research jet engines as well. Just trying to modernize our army. Coup d'etat in Cuba. There's coup d'etat happening everywhere. Let's do the battle for the industry. Get two military factories. Let's just build a couple more civvies. Got the 10 factories. Do we have the number of... We have the army size. 7 and 26. Right, we can't take on them just yet. If we're going to invade anyone straight away though, 100% going to be Albania. That should be an easy win. And there he is. We get stability from him. Perfect. So is it Queen Elizabeth or Yeah, of course. Of course it's Queen Elizabeth. Of course. Now, will the Americans intervene? Let's go ahead and meet the old bosses. We get cores on so much land. We get some more support as well. Britain stands victorious in Malia. Who's in charge? William Noland. Cool. Oh, the people's Germany has risen up. The German Spring. I need to play as them, actually. Let's see what we can do. Fanatical Revolt. So, China's still fighting against Vietnam, which just leads me to believe that they're going to lose. It just seems very likely at this point. I think, I think we can all agree on that. How is this still classed as a dictatorship? It doesn't matter. Oh, we have to go after Banat. That's fine. I think we can take them. They're nothing special after all. Once they grind down their very limited amount of manpower, they'll be screwed. Yes, we are lacking. Oh, I forgot. This is a mod we need to actually... Oh, yep. China withdraws from Vietnam. This is a mod where you actually have to build anti-tank equipment. Oh, and the United States has just invaded all of Germany. Pfft, Amsterdam just got flipping nuked. Are we going to have the German compromise? Assassination attempt on Chang. Oh no, who's going to get elected in his place? Lies Ongren? We could always just bypass them quickly and just go after Albania. Just prepare ourselves a little bit more. Oh, yep, Lies Ongren. A new era for China. The Asian pro uh, proletarian front and Germany is very quickly losing. Good thing I wasn't planning on joining them. Four military factories is absolutely garbage. So bad. 
Uh, okay, that's the tanks research. Let's go ahead and research you a little bit ahead of time, but Infantry is forming the backbone of our military right now Don't think this should be too hard to defeat them even with us lacking equipment Let's do the King's Watchful Eye, it gives us attack bonus in core territory, which is basically what we're going to be attacking everybody for, so makes sense. Oh, and so many people want to send me guns. Thank you very much, Lee. Democratic transition is finished. Let's do war bonds. Oh, well, they're dead already. Well, that's how you defeat. Oh, excuse me. That's how you defeat the Germans as the U.S. Just attack them during a civil war. Oh, we get democratic propaganda. Let's get rid of mixed army. That's hurting our uh, reinforce rate. Come on, Albania. Let us through. Let us through. Come on. They only have one to five divisions. We should be able to defeat them. Vladimir Stoichev is now in charge. Oh, a new monarch. Cool. Hate how we're all attacking that way. Some of you go this way. Oh, yeah, I'd be worried there for a second. Surely we're going to push them back. Reconcile non-Serbs. Yes, please. Go ahead and circle them. Grand. That should be war. Yep. Perfect. Take all states. Fade Albania, let's liberate Albania. But we keep West Macedonia and Kosovo. Cancel land leases, that is perfectly fine. Thank you for your assistance. Uh, push the chain next. Oh, create two elite mountaineer divisions. I'll do that and then we'll invade um, Banat. So let's just start this now. I have full conf confidence in our army. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. They can't break us. Hmm. Um... I'm not ready to join in that war yet against Italy so I can get my territory, but let's hope we can join in before that finishes. Do you know what, maybe if I take like a wee handful of divisions away, they'll maybe, maybe push? That's what we're wanting after all, we want them to grind themselves to death. Nice, Alpine divisions there. Let's do the battle for roads. Does that give us infrastructure? Yep, every own state gets one infrastructure. Fantastic. Oh my god, the Italians might save the Americans. They're not Americans, the Germans here. How hilarious would that be if that was actually the case? It'll definitely help in their defense, like. Is what Mussolini. Yeah, Mussolini's got a decent sized army. US isn't that strong, it's just the fact that Germany would fight in a civil war. I 
I know exactly what I'm going to do with these divisions. Right there, please. The only issue with us fighting over here, um, trying to take Banat, is the fact that there's a river. But that's a lot of equipment shortage right there, so let's get into them. Oh, wow, okay. May take a little bit more effort than we're, we're expecting, but Albania's want the same convoys. Why not? We'll just keep an eye on Pan Seville, just in case they start moving divisions across. Yeah, we're going to have to engage them. Italian East Africa died. Well, that shouldn't really be shocking at all. Let's do the tungsten mines of Boar. Ten tungsten in Morava. Morava. It's probably Morava. Just divert additional division to help push. Let's do combined operations. We have slaughtered 64,000 of them. Thank you. Actually, I should probably build some more civvies before military factories. Come on, man. I have faith in your abilities. Iraq has capitulated. Well, they didn't last long at all, did they? Oh, we're through. We're through. Can we just push in there? Offensive. And several has been cut off. Divisions in the north have been killed off. It's the steel mines. Their military factory happy days. Perfect. There they go. And we got very little equipment from Banat. That doesn't matter, we've got an record piece of territory back. Um Is there any way for me to get involved against Italy? Like right now? Because I I want to get some territory. Um Do I have to complete all the following? Oh you son of a gun. Why'd you have to do me like that? Let's hope Italy can hold on that long. I doubt it, but let's hope. A boy can dream, okay? I can dream. Unless he'd return it to me. You know, we, we never... Oh, fuck's sake. <sighs> Just die, Italy. This is going to be a very short playthrough now. <laughs> um... Yep, great. There goes there goes Italy. Oh, you returned some of my land. But then you just released Croatia. Um Okay, I'm relatively happy with that outcome because I'm sure we can just invade um Croatia at some point. Um Hello Messi, how are you doing? Um I don't quite know what to say, to be quite honest. Wait, what? We're doing a we're doing a border conflict. Why? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, we're never gonna win that, anyways. But I didn't realize that was gonna happen. Yeah, that's fine. I was wondering war goal against them. I just wish I had some more factories, you know? Trade with the French. 
Oh, wait, the French Republic? Oh, yeah, because the French aren't in Africa now. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. We'll see what America gets up to, though, because are they going to kill anyone else? Who knows? I don't think we're going to be building tanks anytime soon, doing. I don't know why you even look there. Yeah, wow. That is unbelievable. The Italian thaw. The end of fascist Italy. Oh, look at all the land getting returned to people. The King's Loyal Partisans. The Czech Republic's here. The Slovak Republic, the Swiss government restored. Republic of Poland, looking hideous. Netherlands and Belgium have returned home. The German Confederal Union. Okay. They have total disarmament. Serbia never drops a crate. Yeah, make everything count, please. Okay. Resistance. Secure the Adriatic. And end the Croatian experiment. Okay. Okay, we'll see what this does. It looks like the Greek uh, Democratic Republic is possibly going to win there. 7 and 28. We need to grow... Oh, my days. You... You're not finished yet. Seriously. Have, have, have you not done enough, sir? Have you not done enough? Ah, look at the world. And I can't believe that Italy and Germany are both dead already. I guess it's made things slightly easier, I suppose, and we should be happy about that. Um, let's go to partial mobilization. I'm going to refuse your warning because I'm not scared of you. Oh, excuse me. Oh, UK's not finished either. So, expand. Send officers as a Launch the. Oh no, Istria is still controlled. Yeah, we'll send send some officers out there. Damn it, you still have Istria. You cannot, you cannot have this. This is rightful Yugoslav territory. At least we have enough infantry equipment. I guess that's something. We'll just remove them. I'm not producing that. <laughs> yes, Germany surrenders. We, we know this. And so Cyprus. Cyprus is gone. Okay, we don't want to do that yet. Restore all parties, election changes the government type. Oh, let's go ahead and purge the Chetnex. Pacification of Germany. Yeah, we, we don't we don't care for that. Russian Republic declared war in Cheetah. Okay. We have some expansion beginning. Officers, mm. cannot just declare war on bloody Croatia. Guess I'll get ready to take down Bulgaria. Let's do Draza's fate.
Let's get these guys exercising. Not really how I've seen this going at all, if I'm being 100% honest. So we can execute him. Let's have an actual wee read of this. We have before us an extremely important decision that will determine the fate of the Chetnik movement to the collaborator, a uh, Drago. Uh, we have before us the following options that are proposed to the chamber. Immediately after his arrest, when clashed with Brosidia Purit, and as far as you can see from them, Drago has no place in our country, or at best in social life. We show the people that we will not have mercy on our national heroes, either, then we will make it clear to them that the state should never be betrayed, even if it was destroyed because of that. On the other hand, Drago is a symbol of Serbian struggle against the occupiers. Though his idea is to cooperate with Neddy and the Germans, he will have to show courage, but also mercy towards him to show that the people that it is not worth betraying their homeland. He will have to send him out to the country without the right to return. But he did too much for this country for us to just dismiss as the last piece of shit. We have to punish him, indeed, but if we leave him alive and in the country, we'll have to show his brighter side in the whole story. Let's put him under house arrest. I don't think he deserves to be completely killed off. So you're now safe, Mr. Drago, the man who drove him home, told him. I know, I'm glad I can see my home after all this time. I will inform you once more. Ten guards will take turns and three shifts and watch your movement. You must not leave the house under any circumstances, because you will be returned to prison immediately. This will be a life sentence, but you will spend it at home. Then someone started running, and his son went outside, jumping on Drazen, hugging him. I understand, the man greeted him and then disappeared when the three guards arrived. Mercy is a strong weapon. It could have went a lot worse for him. But anyways, guys, I'm going to leave that episode there. Next episode, we'll uh, take down the Bulgarians, get back our core territories from them, uh, maybe divert attention to Hungary as well, as well as hopefully getting um, Croatia and Slovenia dealt with as well. Doesn't look like I can actually invade you. I... Don't know how that's going to go, but um, hopefully we'll eventually be able to join the Toronto and join the United Nations as well. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Probably not much more warring to be done since the whole world is now free of fascism, nearly. Anyways, until next time, guys. Take care. Cheer bye. The now.